Well, we all know why Amber Heard is on everyone's mind lately. Uh, the lawsuit between her and her ex-husband, actor Johnny Depp, has been making headlines every day. But let's look back at where she was in 2010. It was one year after she had a role in Zombieland where she played a raging, infected zombie. But now, we're one year later and she was starring in John Carpenter's The Ward, aka his worst movie. Now you're gonna have to prepare for spoilers, but it probably doesn't matter because this movie's terrible and I urge you not to even try watching it. I did, and I don't even remember any of it. I have to look this stuff up because I have blocked this movie out for the last few years, however long ago that I watched it. But essentially the film begins with Amber Heard after she burns down a farmhouse and gets arrested. From there on, she's taken to a psychiatric ward and meets a couple of other girls. And eventually, they're all hunted down one by one by some kind of evil ghost. It's a pretty generic film from that point forward until you get to the end. Then it just has a generic ending. As it turns out, the movie ends with Amber Heard's character realizing that there were no other girls in the psychiatric ward. Yeah, they were all split personalities that she had developed and began to fight with her true personality that was actually the ghost. And so the version of her that we stick with through most of the movie is actually another split personality to hide her trauma. And it, it just, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. Whatever I'm saying, how little context I'm giving you, that's what the movie feels like. Except you're better off with what I'm telling you because you don't have to sit there for 90 minutes and watch it. This is like a short video. It's probably gonna be under five minutes. So you're welcome. The only other thing about the film is that it does explain why she burns down the farmhouse. Apparently she was taken there as an 11 year old girl and chained up there for two months. And she goes back there as an adult to burn it down and and get revenge even though she doesn't remember what she's doing because she's traumatized and has all these split personalities and then at the very very end her her I was gonna say her actual personality but it's not because now she's back to her actual personality so her fake personality from the rest of the film is now the ghost type entity and it tries to kill her yeah because the ghost was her actual personality, not the villain. I I can't keep up with this. It's it's madness. It's and I don't know what to say. It's John Carpenter's worst movie. I like to think he ghost directed it. Uh, it has none of his signature style or trademark, so I'm not even sure if he was really involved with it all that much. But Amber Heard, she's front and center most of the movie. She's the star. So that's The War, where she plays a emotionally and mentally unstable woman. So for those of you watching the recent court trials, uh, there might be some parallels there depending on uh, your view on that. So that pretty much sums up the ward. It's trash and I love John Carpenter, but man, I don't even know. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. What do you think of the ward if you have been unlucky enough to see it? Uh, do you like it? Does anyone like it? Let me know, I would like to know that. And as always, obey the brain.